Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Fresh and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be more of a tutorial video because I get asked some questions on Fresh. How do you get extinct players? And this is what I mean by extinct players. Now, you go into the market and you cannot find a single certain player that you're looking for. And this is what I mean now. Let's go over to Purple Harry Kane. Now, I just got him yesterday. So we'll go ahead and click compare price. And there's none on the market. And I managed to actually get him after a few tries. So that was actually pretty good on my part. But I'm basically going to be showing you guys how you can get some of the extinct players that are ultimate team. Now, no, guys, this tutorial requires a lot of patience and really fast fingers. So let me go ahead and show you guys now. There's actually a couple of different methods that I use, but let's go over to the easiest one. It's basically the concept squad method. Now, for the concept squad method, all you have to do is you go over and you look for the player, and then um, after that, you, um, you click uh, compare price, and then you go to the transfer market. This is what I mean. This guy over here, he was in last week's team of the week. He is not there at all. So what you will do, you will put him in the concept squad. And then afterwards, you'll click on left bumper or uh, L1. Click on it, and then it will search for the player on the transfer market. Once they realize he's not there, then this is what you'll do. You go over to the transfer market, and basically his inform has already been singled out. So basically, he's not there. So what you will do is... Um, in this situation, because he is silver, it doesn't work as well as the method that I'm going to show you for the next one. So what you would do is you'll go over to the minimum price, plus it is 150, and then once that doesn't show up, then you go back and then press it at any. And what this basically does is it resets the search because if you press, if you keep pressing Y at 150, it comes up immediately, basically saying that you already tried this, the result isn't any different. But when you go over to 150, excuse me, when you go over to any, it basically does it doesn't do it instantly. You know, it takes some time to actually looks for the search again. It's pretty Pretty much all you have to do is just keep doing that back and forth so that's basically the first method now with gold players however it is a bit different you don't necessarily have to do that let's go over to Vidal now Man of the Max Vidal is still extinct of course so what you would do in this situation is you can either do the uh, the price thing or what I like to do is pretty much go over to the quality now you can go over to gold and then you can keep going back to any and this is basically what you have to keep doing now this is how I pretty much find all of my players is very tedious and it's actually very annoying if I have to be honest but what I normally do is I'll play some music or just something that will kind of make the time go by fast but this is pretty much what you constantly do there's actually easier way to, uh, to go between the qualities and that's basically press right uh, the right stick you just move it over and then press Y and then you're good move it back and then press Y again and you're good that way you don't have to press A go over press A again and then press Y but I prefer to just do the A thing just because I seem to do it faster that way but if you feel more comfortable than uh, doing it with the right stick then go ahead and do that now this method right here is for a newer team of the week players and this is what I mean now recently purple hazard and purple hurricane I've got released but if you look for them on a transfer market they're pretty much not here so let me see let me go ahead and look for hazard now go for search the concept players 90 rated hazard is not fair okay then let's go ahead and go to Tottenham uh, maybe maybe see if uh, Harry Kane is there so you go to Spurs and look for 80 rated players he's not there his inform is his gold inform is but you don't see the purple card there so this is a method that I use it's pretty much basically the same thing but you have to work more of the prices you have to know the prices for these players to do so so I do apologize for that. The game froze for me, kicked me out. But nevertheless, we were talking about trying to how to get Purple Harry Kane because he is not currently on the concept squad um, list. So what you do is you type in his name, obviously, and the game's stupid, so you have to go through the merch stuff to find the players. Now, Harry Kane, he's had silver informs, and he's had a gold inform. Now, the gold inform is not a problem, but what is the problem is the silver informs because they do cost a lot more. So, if we do try to go to his minimum price for the purple card, which is 55k, so if we put the minimum buy now to 55 and a half, because even for person where the list uh, purple area came to his minimum, his minimum buy now will be 55 and a half. But if you click Y, you see a silver cards come up. So the solution will obviously be to put it to go, right? Because you would do that. But then if you try to go back to any, you'll go back to the silver card. So what I did to personally get him was I put him over it. Excuse me. No, I didn't. Uh, what I did was I did the buy. I used the pricing method. So basically, I will work the buy now price. Uh, and I will actually put it on gold. Excuse me, not silver. So this is what I did. I put it on silver. And I put the minimum price to 56 Notice nobody, uh, there's not one. So then you keep going back and forth, back and forth. And this is pretty much how I managed to get Purple Harry Kane. I think I, 
After the fifth one, I managed to get one, which is actually pretty good. If I have to be honest, because sometimes I spend a lot of time. But this is basically what I did because he does have silver informs that are worth more than his gold inform. And this is basically how you get him. Now, for players like Eden Hazard, now, he's a more expensive one. We we'll go ahead and type in Eden Hazard now. And he has an inform whose price cap manages to go in between the purple run. What you have to do is you have to pretty much go over the price cap for his normal inform. Now, his normal inform card, it goes up to 600k. So, obviously, you're not going to be able to find any purple hazards. And most people that put up a purple hazard anyway are going to put up from their max price. So, this is what you'll basically do. Now, I'm not seeing not one hazard yet because it just seems to be extremely rare. Floodhead doesn't even have a stat set, if I'm not mistaken. But you'll just keep doing this. And that is pretty much the tutorial, guys. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. And I will actually show you some clips of me getting some extremely rare players at the end of the video. Uh, Inform Hernandez, Inform Lavetsy, and also Purple Harry Kane. So I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial, guys. And I also hope this helps you guys get some rare players because this this technique is pretty much what helped me get some of my rare players in the game, especially that 34 velocity because I still do not think that there is any one of them on the market. But nevertheless, guys, this is Fresh. I'm up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.